Good morning, Steer Nation. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday on this September the 15th. Hard to believe, but uh, we're over halfway done with the first six weeks of school for the 2020-2021 school year. And I have to brag on the teachers, staff, students. Everyone has done such an amazing job uh, following our new protocols and getting back into the routine and uh, I cannot brag on everybody that is part of Steer Nation enough. Um, it's been a smooth transition back to school, and I just appreciate all those that have made this happen. Uh, I'm coming to you today just as a reminder. Uh, this is primarily aimed at our remote learning students and their parents. Um, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago, uh, if you chose the remote learning option, which Big Spring ISD will continue to offer throughout this school year, you can come back to face-to-face -to -face learning, but you must remain in the remote learning option for the entire grading period, which for us is a six weeks period. With that being said, this Friday, the 18th of September, is the deadline to declare if you are going to bring your child back to face-to-face -face instruction. Uh, why is it this Friday? Because the following Friday, which is the 25th, is the actual end of the first six weeks grading period. We want to give our uh, attendance clerks and our principals time to get all of those kids that are coming back uh, situated in their classes, redo the roll sheets, and have all of our teachers ready to go uh, and have all the materials ready for your students when they return for the second six weeks. So what we need you to do is if you are uh, already decided or thinking about having your child come back to face-to-face -face learning, which trust me, we would welcome those kids with open arms. We would love to have them back with us. Uh, you need to call the campus where your child attends and let that principal know that your child or children will be coming back uh, at the end of the first six weeks, which is September the 25th. That's when it ends, and you'll come back the following Monday. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please call your campus principal. They will explain all of this to you again. You will probably be getting a Blackboard message from each campus. You'll see it on their Facebook pages as well. Uh, so you can call today, you can call tomorrow, but you must get this done by Friday at four o'clock if you are intending to send your child back to face-to-face. If we do not hear from you by this week, we will be assuming that your child is going to remain in remote learning for the next six weeks grading period. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to call. Uh, and also just on a side note, on a different subject, this Friday, the Steer football team travels to Brownfield looking for their third win in three games. Um, a little different protocol, uh, Brownfield is only allowing 450 people at the game because of their stadium size. Um, I will be getting out information later today or early tomorrow on how we will handle that situation with our fans that want to attend and what the protocol is for you to get a voucher that will get you into the game to buy a ticket this Friday. Again, more information to come on that because we want all of those that want to go to the game to be able to go, but we are limited on the number of seats that we will have. I believe uh, that's all we have today. Again, I want to uh, give a great uh, thank you to Mr. Ritchie uh, for putting together last Friday night our special tribute to our first responders here in Howard County. Uh, we had the chief of police, we had the sheriff, we had the fire chief, we had several police officers and EMT people that we honored before the game uh, last Friday, which was 9-11. What a great tribute to guys that do an amazing job for our community, protecting us on a day-to-day -day basis. We cannot thank you enough. Special thanks from Steer Nation. We will always back 
uh, our first responders. We were always back to blue. You guys do an amazing job for us. Thank you. Hope everyone has a great Tuesday and a great week. Go Steers.